and welcome back and thanks for following along and watching and liking and subscribing at Weaver Stonehouse Farms. Um, basically about a week's worth of work, um, evenings after work till midnight a lot of nights um, in between rain and we had the coop rebuilt. Why? We need to get our chickens out of the basement and outside so we, we've accomplished that. Now um, let's take a look at, at what we've done here. This is our old run. This is like 12 by 5. It's ours. We used what we had, right? So this is um, this is boards off of an old porch uh, that somebody ripped down the family. And we had to brace up, so we fixed this. I ended up putting some GRK-type screws in around here because the, the galvanized nails that I had originally built this with were pulling apart. Now, this coop's 10 years old. We moved this with us in the back end of the pickup truck from one end of the state to the other. Chickens in it. With chickens in the coop. And this coop barely fits in the truck and it was hard to get here over the wheel wells, but it fit. So we braced up underneath and you'll see that in the other part of the video. So it's here and we also treated it with a uh, Australian timber oil. Uh, there's what, 19? Yeah, 19. These are our egg layers. Um, I gotta tell you, I always thought this little feeder was like a gimmick at Tractor Supply. I like it. They have to put their heads down in and they can't make a mess. It's a real feed saver. I gotta tell you, feed saver. Quite phenomenal. So, yep. I oh, hope we got one up on the roost. Yeah. We just stuck these birds in literally minutes ago. Um, what, which one is Nana Wales? Bubblegum. Bubblegum where? A cup. Right yep, the white one is roosted bubblegum. So underneath, I had to crawl underneath the coop um, and I put some extra bracing on so this doesn't sag down for the winter, which is great. Right here. So then, this is the, the meat bird drag along coop. This is a simple design and I'm, that's just, I build stuff simple. Um, I added this tin on the bottom for protection for two reasons. One, so the cows and the sheep stop stepping on it. Now they still can, right? But it's, they, they kind of stayed off of this. Um, so that allowed that to beef up. And then it gives the chickens another place to hide underneath. And then they're covered, but there's enough airflow through this. So it works out pretty good. So we got a little bit where we can get in now. We beef this up because uh, the cows have knocked that in. This, we can get into them here also if we needed to. Now we used to keep egg layers in this one. So that's kind of why this is here. Also doubled as a perfect spot to keep feed. And then we also uh, ended up getting fence. Now, now on the fence, we ended up getting fence. Premier one poultry netting. Yeah, premier one, yeah. So this was, I think, 98 feet, 82 feet, 84 feet, something like that. Um, it was a lot. It was almost 200 bucks. Um, this stuff was not cheap, but we've got a fox that's been hanging around a good bit. And with that fox hanging around, we wanted to keep them out. But at the same time, this keeps the cows out so they're not in here. And the trying sheep. To get, and the sheep. So they're not trying to get feed. So, all right. Here's my chicken girls coming. What I'm doing to power this is I'm running a piece of wire, which is the white um, braided wire from over on the fence. And then I'm just going to go ahead and tie it onto this fence here with a jumper clip. So, all right. Well, hey, um, let's let's go ahead and watch here. Putting them in. So this is our first batch of Cornish crosses. It's about fifty birds, and this is really cool to see them going in. And these are Cornish cross. Okay. Sweet. Oh, look at that. That is beautiful. The fog rolling in right down through the bottom. You can go ahead and move everybody forward. That was the goal to get this done. It took a little longer than what I figured, but it's okay. We got it done. Um, so the cows and the sheep will go ahead and eat this down here. And then once they get this down it'll make it easier we can move the chickens over that way or we can move them this way whichever way we're going to do with it 
um, and we can get our rotational grazing done. So yeah, that's, that's what we're doing here on the farm. That's what we've been doing. A lot of work went into that barn. Um, so, hey, um, hope you like it. Hope you like a little tour on what we're doing and the hard work we get into making, you know, this is what it takes to farm and to make food. Um, it ain't cheap, I can tell you that. So, but it's clean food. That's the difference. This is, this is clean food. Um, all right, well, hey, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time on the farm. Bye.